So I've just brushed my teeth. This is day one of NMT. As you can see, my face is very dry. So are my arms. My lips have been very um, smooth for some reason. I usually sleep with my partner, but he's away for work. So I have the whole bed to myself. And I have an ice pack and I have a container full of creams and like moisturizers and everything which from today I won't be using these my moisturizer and some say that pseudo creams help with the weeping during no moisturizer no, no, no moisturizer treatment so I don't know if I'm going to use it but I'm just going to keep it in here and also the topical steroid. I've been tapering it off over the last couple of months and I went from using a pretty strong topical steroid to the over-the-counter one, which is pretty weak. So I'm gonna stop this as well. 100% steroid-free, moisturizer-free, which is so new to me. All my life, I've been using cream every day. I am pretty keen on how your my skin will cope and how how it'll heal over time. And also, some people say to restrict on the amount of water you take each day. I spoke to my nutritionist about it, and she said that some do under a doctor's supervision so it is a quite um, dangerous thing to do I'm a bit lis lip lispy right now because of my retainers so I don't think I'll be limiting the water intake um, so yeah I'm just gonna have that with me maybe I'll go for a morning walk tomorrow and I will vlog then as well okay night everyone good morning so i just woke up and my face is so dry it's never been this dry before it's kind of freaking me out but i think it's really really rough around my mouth and my eyes um i don't know i I don't know whether I can wash my face or not, but I've got a, a gauze here, which I might just wet it and pat on my face. It feels so uncomfortable. And um, last night, my arms were weeping a lot. So I wrapped a gauze around it and slept with it. So it's a bit um, wet. Anyways, I don't know, I, I wanted to go for a walk and I still do, but I might just wear a mask and go out because I don't want to go out like this. <laughs> online yesterday so I can't wait to just like exfoliate with it because I just wipe my skin with the the gauze and you can see all the little um, skin flaking off already my face feels much better after the wipe so I've got a spray bottle with diluted apple cider vinegar which helps with the staph infection and like fungal infections so I'm gonna spray that
so I got ready. I have my cap on so I can cover myself a little bit and my mask on. I feel much better this way because I'm, I'm self-conscious <laughs> at the moment with the flakes. That's the silver lining of COVID. I feel like people going through eczema and TSW really appreciate having to wear masks and cover up. some journaling. This place is so nice. I'm under the tree, surrounded by rocks, listening to the sound of waves. It's really, really calming. I think I'm definitely going to come here more often. So I decided to get in the habit of working out in the mornings. I've heard a lot of people say that it's really important to exercise during no moisture treatment to get the blood flowing. So I'm going to be doing that every morning now. It's the end of day two. I bought this roller today because I heard it was good to circulate the blood. And I put it in the fridge so it's nice and cold. The first time using it. Let's see. so good I'm keen for it to peel off and have nice and smooth skin it's so hard to move my mouth especially when I eat I used a teaspoon today to eat and even with the teaspoon I could barely put the food in my mouth I have a vision board on my wall and also on my Pinterest board and it really keeps me going. I look at it every now and then. I can already see my face like brightening up in a good way. The blood is like, circling around I think. I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge for tomorrow morning. My supplements. <coughs> okay, so I'm just gonna make some breakfast. I wear gloves when I cook so the moisture doesn't touch my hands. Day four of the no moisture treatment. I what did I do this morning? I vacuumed the room, I had my supplements, and I'm about to do a workout. My face feels very, very stiff and it's hard to move it around. It's getting like dry out each day, but once it's over the mountain, I guess it'll start improving but so far it's getting drier every day. Also, my partner is coming back from his work trip tonight, so I'm excited. He was gone for a week. So he hasn't seen this in real life. I've, I've sent him photos, but he hasn't seen it. So 
So I made a soy milk cream pasta with broccoli, spinach and tuna. And this is gluten free pasta. So my boyfriend came back from his work trip. He wasn't surprised or anything at all because he had seen it um, in pictures and stuff. So yeah, he was fine with it. And as you can see, he was pretty happy to be home. I'm just about to go brush my teeth. My neck's starting to crack today. And some of the skin on my face has, my face has started to fall off. You can see it's coming off. It's really tempting to just rip it off, but I'm not going to do that because if I do that, it'll have to repeat the whole cycle again. So this is me baking biscuits after finding a recipe that was gluten free and dairy free. out of the oven it's looking good so that night we had some chicken and veggies i've been trying to eat a variety of veggies and protein and we usually watch a movie while we eat good morning so last night i scratched my arms really badly um so I woke up wool, wool, I couldn't sleep because my arms were so weepy and they were so uncomfortable so I, I slept around maybe three or four but it's so frustrating because you spend the whole day trying not to scratch and like holding yourself so much to not scratch than to just scratch my whole skin off during the night. So it is very frustrating because I just scratched off all the skin that was on there. Now it's so raw. It's going to repeat the whole process again. But there's nothing we can do about it. Now it's happened. Well, the only thing I can do now is to support it and not touch it and <coughs> eat well, that sort of thing. And another update, a good one this time, my massive skin is coming off. It's so satisfying, but it's got a little bit stuck on there on my lips, so I'm not and try not to rip it off. I'm going to do a workout and my stats parcel, the active wear, is meant to come today so I'm really excited for that to come. It's been a week and a day since starting the no moisture treatment. Also my back and my legs are doing so well. My back didn't like um, flake at all since starting my moisture treatment um, but it's been, it's been like really really smooth which has never happened to me from like not putting any moisturizer on. All my life I had moisturizer with me and since I was a baby like I literally could not live without moisturizing and so my logic was if I have dry skin I'll put moisturizer on and then I'll have moisturized skin right but for the first time in my life I've took away the moisturizer and some parts of my skin is still moisturized 
Like it's so smooth, it's not dry. And I, it was so mind blowing because it was just out of my logic. But yeah, so I'm really, really stoked. I'm really excited to get through this and have clear skin all over. So this is the parcel from the body shop. I thought my stacks delivery was going to come today, but it wasn't it. Um, anyways, I got two parcels. This must be the necklace that I bought on Etsy. I got it customized. Oh, it's in a nice box. It says Remy. It says my name on it. This is from the body shop. So this is the um, dry brushing brush that I ordered. So I bought this because I saw a girl talk on um, YouTube about how like the exfoliating with these brushes help rejuvenate the skin and um, it's good for no moisture therapy but another girl on instagram she actually suggested that i don't use these because it damages my skin and um, damages the baby skin underneath the the flakes so, so she said it's best to keep the skin on as long as possible um and i think she's right so i don't know if i should return this or not but another thing is I tend to scratch my legs a lot and that's breaking the barrier as well, right? So I was thinking, so if I use this instead of scratching, it's better than scratching because I'm gonna wanna get to the itch anyways. So if I don't use this, I'm gonna end up scratching it. So maybe I should use this to get to the itch. We'll see. Another night, another movie. I think we're watching I don't know what we're watching after that but we have chicken karagi so this morning I did a zoom call with my nutritionist and then I did a workout Skin update, um, the flakes underneath my nose has fallen off but it is forming another layer of the rough barrier again so it's gone into the second cycle. My arms get really really itchy during the night and I tend to like sometimes scratch them and sometimes I like squeeze them and like rub them in my sleep so the i wake up with really weepy arms and then during the day it forms that flaky skin barrier again and then at night i scratch it off it's like a bad cycle um but yeah that's how my arms are right now <laughs> my legs are all right they're flaky i think my upper face is doing pretty good less flakiness it's just my lower face and my arms okay i'm gonna make some breakfast now so today i had some content to shoot with my sister so she's coming over soon and we had everything ready from clothes to bags and everything and that's her getting changed.